talk about two general kind of incomes, about employment, self-employment, and also together be employed and also self-employed. This is the easiest for taxes because actually you don't have to take care about anything because during the year employer cares of taxes, health and social insurance. They every month from your salary, your employer deduct this amount for taxes, health and social insurance and they pay it and you don't have to do anything. So you received this confirmation from all of your employers and to your income tax return you just add it up together. It's a bit complicated because you have to take care of everything. Main obligations connected to self-employment are tax return, social insurance and health insurance it's for EU citizens. Be careful, these are three different institutions, so you must pay three different payments for three different bank accounts. I know that, for example, in Ireland or Great Britain, people I use that they pay just one payment and that's for everything. And after one year in Czech Republic, they are surprised that they pay just one payment and they think it's all. And they are surprised that they have some arrears in some other institution. So be careful about this. Necessary documents are trading license, copy of your passport, let's of registration from tax office, statement of your income. It could be some Excel sheet or your bank statements. You just you just have uh, to prove all your income. You just, you just be sure which we need to be sure when you received it, how much, from whom, and for what. And now how to calculate tax base. Uh, it's uh, your income minus your costs. You can use real costs. It means that you just you need to have all your receipt for everything you buy and uh, you can deduct it from your income. But usually these costs are not so high or uh, it's better for you to use fat type because real cost you can deduct only things which are really really connected to your business. You can deduct on both. Goods. And usually if you are an English teacher, first year maybe you buy some laptop, textbooks, on I don't know what. But then it's not so high as you got. So it's for you to use this flash rate, it's some percentage. And it depends on your business, usually it's 60%. So let's say your income was, I don't know, 1 million Czech crowns. Your flat rate would be 60%, so of course it's 600,000 Czech crowns. And your tax base is 400,000 Czech crowns. And the uh, tax base is 15%, so 15% from this is, I think, 60,000. And from this, you can deduct some discounts. General discounts for everyone is 24,000 uh, Czech crowns. And also you can discount, uh, discount for uh, students, it's, I think, 4,000 Czech crowns. But you have to prove that you are a student for a year or for several months. But the basic discounts for everyone is for everyone. It's 24,000 per whole year. But be careful, there is some minimum amount you have to pay every month. And it's to, for 2017, it's 2,061 check rounds per month. So even if you earn nothing, you have to pay this amount. From a social office, you receive it. Uh, Usually, at the beginning of the new year, there are some yeah, number you receive in social office and there you can see all the payments you make during the year. And according to this, we, uh, you can prepare, or your advisor can prepare uh, your statement for social office. Because here you can prove that you really paid this amount every month. So if you receive this letter, please don't fool it out. Health insurance, it's uh, really similar to social insurance. Again, once a year till the end, uh, till the 1st of May or 1st of August. Uh, again, we need 50% of tax base and the uh, rate is 14.5%. And again, there is some minimum amount you have to pay every month, even for nothing. And for health insurance for 2017, it's 1,906 check counts every month. We earn 30,000 every month. We have to add 34%. Uh, uh, so our tax base would be 14,200. 
then we can discount the general discount, 2000, and so our income tax will be this amount, tax base minus the discount. I have to pay social insurance 6.5 and health insurance 4.5. So my net salary is 32,740 Czech rounds and to institutions I will pay this. The Czech Republic you have to become a VAT payer if you uh, if you earn more than 1 million Czech crowns in 12 consecutive months. If you, if you sell something to European Union you don't have to pay VAT, but you have to file a VAT VAT return. Doesn't have to say yeah, I said something to Germany, but you won't pay anything. No problem. Uh, but if you received from services, that's from European Union or from non-EU countries, you pay VAT. You receive something from Germany for let's say 100,000 pounds. You will add check VAT, which is 21%, and you will have to pay 21,000 on VAT. That's it. If you're selling services to Denmark, your VAT and the Denmark partners also VAT registered. If you sell it, you don't add VAT, and the Denmark partner will pay VAT. And if you receive services and you registered VAT or VAT pair, you also don't pay anything. But you have to mention it on the, on the invoice, because it's, it's a red charge. If you provide games on the internet and someone from Germany, for example, will play your games and pay you, let's say, 10 euros, you have to, from these 10 euros, you have to pay VAT at that amount what's the rate in Germany. For example, German VAT is 30%, so you have to pay 2 euros from this payment.